Rang round two. Sorry, Jim. Sorry, Sam. McCallum is what boxing is all about. Good left and right and down the third round. Right hand on the chin by McCallum. To the right, snap the head back. Bettencourt can't take too many more of these punches. He is almost out on his feet at this point. He is. And now he's down. And that's it. Tony Perez stops the fight. It's over. He was going nowhere at all. Tony Perez did the... Another big round for McCallum. Here's the time for McCallum to press and finish this off. Beating of the seventh round. Well, as long as he keeps punching back, Marv, the referee cannot stop it. Although, heaven knows, he's close to doing so. <laughs> Cortez looking very sharply at the eyes of a youth Kaluli. And he can't see him too good because there's a lot of red leather in his eyes. Final seconds, seventh round. We'll stay between rounds as Kalula has been batted here. The corner of Ayub Kalule, the doctors. Bien sûr, il est. C'est aussi efficace de, de la droite et de la gauche. Hein? Ah oui, aussi. Oui. Oh, voilà, cette longue droite là. Assuero tient plus sur ses gants. It appears to Arthur that the crowd just wants uh, McCallum to uh, put Vallejo away. And stop with the pitter patter. I would stop this fight very soon because uh, up his hands. You don't do that with McCollum. Oh. <laughs> He's going to get hurt. No, he did not read the book on McCollum before this fight. What's the second? And again, we're seeing the entire arsenal. No resting, no respite for either fighter. Oh, an illustration of why he is called the body snatcher and has been going to the head successfully too. Macalum se fâche et il frappe et c'est un terrible accroché du droit et cette fois-ci Voilà, Macalum a maintenant une totale domination sur le tapis. We'll be taking a station break at the end of this stanza. McCallum going in once again. Milton just pushing his punches down, nothing on him. And suddenly forgetting the move. Joe Cortez looking closely. Oh, stop, stop it, stop it! Stop it! Luduva screaming stop, stop it, trying to put the idea in Joe Cortez's stop mind. It. But McCrory's still fighting back, and as long as he throws punches, Cortez... He's not given angles at all. He's directly in front of Donald. And there is a left hand by Mike McCollum that came out of the blue and put Donald Curry on his back. Uh, it's straight away, your jaw feels different, Red. But in fact, it's McCollum who's laying it on there, and he's got Watson in trouble here now. What a champion this is. He's, he's really, he's got total command in this one. He almost got in the way of Watson there, trying to get away with a minute to go in the 11th. 
And he's just sagging a bit there, isn't he, Jim Watson? Yes, floundering into the ropes. And that was sheer exhaustion. <laughs> He's just opening him up as much as he can. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. He just resigned to the fact that he knows he can't lick this man. Yeah, but he's inviting him back in that. I think he's broken Stupid. him up Stupid, yeah, he's broken him up. Body punches, everything going. And Cortez there, just a, a yard oh, away. That oh, that's Pete. McCallum! And the body snatcher has also snatched the championship at the world. Left and the right. Uh, there goes the left again, and the body snatcher is doing what he loves best, working the body. And then the switch upstairs, and Jones doesn't know where it's coming from next. Oh, that's a good combination, and Jones is starting to go here. Larry O'Connell having a real good look at that, and says enough's enough. And that's a perfect... Respect.